Hello. Hello, Mary. I missed my chance, Mary. I'll never forgive myself for that. When I was tiny before the war, there was a great house in the middle of London, Holland House. It's now a ruin in the middle of Holland Park, but back then it was like a castle in a fairy story. And a few weeks before war broke out, there was a great ball attended by anybody who was anybody. The king and queen, foreign princes, prime ministers, no coward too. Of course, I was too small to go to the ball, but I heard everybody talking about it, and my nanny had shown me the house. It was raining the night of the ball, but for some reason I wanted to stay up, to see my parents come back, and I heard my father's voice down the passage. Before I knew it, my bedroom door was opening, and there he stood, very tall and handsome, and soaked from head to foot, but happy. The only time I ever really remember him smiling. And he came over to me, and he leant over and he said, My angel, my little angel. Oh, don't get sentimental on me, Mary. I was, in fact, quite a fat little child. Quite an ugly thing. You have to imagine a fat, ugly little child lying there. And I'm under the sheets. And I so very nearly stretch out my little fist to touch his wet cheek. But for some reason I didn't. I can't understand why I didn't. You're a fool if you don't realise that it would have made all the difference. He remembers going to the ball that night. But he doesn't remember coming in to see me. If I'd just reached out and touched his cheek, he would have remembered that. Because we never, ever touch. <laughs>